I mean, whoever could have imagined that they would have released spores over the United States to kill all of us. This is from Death Magnetic, one of the singles released in 2008 on the date of the eclipse. This is unbelievable, you guys. Not playing the audio, spores are collected. Revival organism causes a zombie apocalypse. Spores under their control. And it's time for the U.S. to basically pay the piper because we have waged war around the world. Russia makes samples. They put them up in a balloon across the United States. Here you see the trajectory, very similar to the eclipse path that we showed you guys. American forces spot the craft, but the altitude is unreachable. What were these balloons at 80,000 feet that NASA dropped? This is from 2008, you guys. Follows the jet stream, windborne. There's your strain, zombie apocalypse. Everything we've been talking about. This is right out of the FX series, The Strain. And on the actual day of the eclipse, they showed us that the master is here. Now, I don't know what this is all about. Um, you know, I don't know if they're using this to spread fear. My problem that I have with this is that no one else is making these connections. So how can this be creating fear if no one's making the connection between these, these NASA balloons and so on and so forth? So I don't understand that. It's like we're the only ones who see this. I'll put the link in the description. I didn't play the audio, obviously, for copyright. I know Metallica is very, very strict about their copyright. And we're seeing the strain. They show the headless zombie. They say it takes weeks to master stairs. FX tweeted out. The master is here on the eclipse. You had to cut the heads off the zombies in the strain in order for them to die. And here you see the, the headless zombie gets reanimated. And the day that never comes, which was the song, the single from that same album that released on the date of Eclipse, 821, the day that never comes is the Eclipse. Because it says, but the sunshine never comes, no sunshine never comes. And here's the end of that music video. As he looks up in the sky. And there's your eclipse. Metallica. And the last song on the album my apocalypse, as you can see here, mentions in the lyrics an eclipse, total eclipse. So we cross that line. The line of the totality of the eclipse. We being America, we cross that line. Total eclipse, suffer unto my apocalypse, are the lyrics to the last song on that album, 
We just covered the day that never comes, all nightmare long, day and night. That's the eclipse. And the balloons dropping on that eclipse. Now, where did Metallica get this idea that balloons would be dropped over the United States with poison in them and disease? Well, they probably got the idea from the vengeance balloons that the Japanese were planning on launching over the Pacific Northwest in which a person in Bly, Oregon, uh, several people died because one of these exploded. They had bombs and disease. Bly, Oregon was the place where my father passed away in a car accident. And the first balloons were launched in 1944. They began landing over the United States. This is real. This is history. It was called Operation Cherry Blossom. 922, 1945 was the scheduled date. Unit 31 was a specialized Japanese military that, that specialized in biological and chemical warfare. And their plan was to drop bubonic plague cholera on smallpox. The 731 group also did live human dissections. This is all on Wikipedia. Six Americans were, were killed near Bly, Oregon, which is where my father died. And this is unbelievable because this is real. Because we dropped the nuclear bomb, they were never able to launch these. It was scheduled to launch September 22nd, but was not realized because of the surrender of Japan in August. So yes, Japan did plot to unleash a plague on the United States with balloons. Now, here are the balloons. They look much like the balloons that NASA launched over the United States during the eclipse. As we just saw Metallica, they showed the exact same scenario except Russia was the one launching the bombs. The plan of the Japanese was to create forest fires with the bombs and also unleash disease into the United States. Some of these were filled with fleas that were infected with bubonic plague. The eclipse occurred on the 30th, 233rd day of the year and these balloons from Japan were 33 feet in diameter and their cargo was a 33 pound anti-personnel fragmentation bomb. I'm going to leave links to all this. It's all here. They plan on launching these off of marine, uh, submarines that reached off of our coast. And then they were going to load them up with disease and launch these balloons, have them be carried by the jet stream over the United States. Here are the balloons here. Here's a map of where many of these balloons fell. Some reached all the way to Detroit. And in this strange occurrence in me trying to research this Panabacillus zero thermodurans, I came to California State University, Los Angeles and did a search and there was a person by the name of Jessica Cisneros who did a speech specifically about the pain of bacillus in 2012. This, I got a warning, not a secure site. They wouldn't let me into the site. And then when I tried to research this woman's name, it came up under some act that said she had the protection of scrubbing her name from Google searches. There's something going on here and I need your guys' help. Biological test and morphology of this bacillus fit no described species, according to studies. And when CNN 
does pieces like this, the big one is coming, and it's going to be a flu pandemic. This was in April of this year. When they do stories like this, and they talk about the 1918 pandemic that, fill, that killed 50 million people worldwide, and they say our only hope is flu vaccines, we know this is pre-programming us for something else. We are overdue, according to CNN. You guys, I'm just a messenger. I see the patterns. This isn't fear-mongering. I'm just showing you what they're showing us. Okay? That no one else has seen. Okay? That's what's going on here. Do with the information what you want, but people can't say that they weren't warned. 